Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Eric Tech Stuffs. We're back again with another uh, funny little honest review. This, of course, is Harbor Freight third hand. It is awful. It is awful. Okay, I'll just tell you that if you get it on 20% coupon, or I don't even know if they do them anymore. I used to get a whole bunch of these. My dad used to work there in management. But yeah, he said the same thing. If you get more than two moving parts, you're going to have issues with Harbor Freight equipment. Not a surprise. I'm here trying to do a coax end, and you know, it does come with a nice microscope. Or a <laughs> little uh, magnifying glass, really. But yeah, that popped right off. And this thing is not going to last. It's tension built. And this plastic, you can see the uh, threading is off completely. Let's zoom in, maybe, Eric. Come on, buddy. So, yeah, this thing will just disintegrate. And you can screw this in as many times as you want. But it doesn't stay in because it pulls right out. Because, yeah, that little tension bracket's the one. So you really got to manipulate that. And this is my other, other one. I have a whole bunch of them. I, I think I got 30 of these things. And this is the other one. Yeah, disintegrate. They're great if you want to use them for alligator clips. These alligator clips, you can use them because they'll pull off too. They're not going to stay on. Nothing's going to stay on on these. That's what they are. They're cheap products. Masquerading as being something you can use. But yeah, if you go to Harbor Freight, pick up five of these. One of these you can manipulate to continue to work because even when you solder some of these, just have stripped screws or they don't have the right thumb screws yeah third arm harbor freight yeah we'll go ahead and give that a, a nope unless you have a coupon or you get it for free because yeah otherwise it just all it just falls apart man you can manipulate this all the way and i'm just trying to solder a coax connector because my end is awful i just found that out but yeah this is this, you got to kind of manipulate the, <laughs> like I did here, because I, I screwed everything down. Nothing holds, nothing stays. It's not a quality product. It's a cheap product. So if you're looking for a third arm and you're like, hey, man, I got to solder some stuff together. Yeah, this stuff just all falls apart. It's all put together pretty cheaply. Of course, you got to either cheap or free. So, yeah, do you want one? Do you need two? Yeah, get a bunch if you can because you're going to have to figure it. See, <laughs> I keep, oh, man, and these fall, these just fall off, too, so. <laughs> anyway, yeah, if you need third arms, uh, get a bunch of them from Harbor Freight. Otherwise, just go to a regular electronic store that does carry a quality product and you will get something better than this because yeah I've basically I just use it like that and hope that this are <laughs> oh well that fell off and I keep pinching these it doesn't matter maybe I need to weld them on but yeah that's a Harbor Freight third hand honest review I'd go ahead and pass on it and get something else. Otherwise, you're going to have to manipulate everything to make it work so it can just hold something for once. I'd get the Harbor Freight Vice and uh, save your time and trouble on this stuff. Especially if you're doing coax and stuff, you can put it in the vice. Don't squeeze it too hard, but yeah, this is not the product if you want to just keep being pissed off like I was. And uh, yeah, somewhere is that other <laughs> magnifying glass but yeah you can just pop these out put them in your eye for mr magoo i wouldn't get it unless it was free because it's gonna just break on you so yeah cheap makes a difference especially in harbor freight you know two moving components you're gonna be in trouble always been that way always will be that way it's just the the surplus junk coming in but uh anyway yeah don't get these get a good one get a professional third hand so you can actually use it because yeah this is uh, just it's not worth it this base is good 
It's just everything else is junk. So maybe you can rebuild them if you get them for free, but I mean, at the same time, you can find a nice one. We have one close in our area, Hurricane Electronics, a Radio Shack distributor back in the day, still is some Radio Shack stuff there, but yeah, they actually have decent stuff and not this junk, but yeah, it's a good base to reuse for something, but uh, don't buy it if you actually want to use it for a long period of time. All this stuff will strip out, fall apart, and yeah, it's not worth the weight it takes you to get there in gas and back and save on a coupon because yeah you can see I'm pinching this up and this stuff still just yeah can come right off maybe I don't need to weld all the solder it or something but same regard I can throw it all in the trash and get one that actually works and doesn't twist and bend even as tight as I can screw all these screws all right, 73, I'll see you in the next video. I got something else that's a piece of trash, too. So stick around. I got some CB radio videos, some other stuff, too. But, uh, yeah, man, not worth the price of the savings. So don't drive up there, especially at these gas prices. You're not saving anything buying this. See you in the next one.